I'm the executive director of Trees Matter. Our mission is to inspire and promote an increased tree canopy valley wide. And today I'm going to show you some of my trees here in my backyard um, that not only provide shade and wildlife and other amazing things, but most importantly to me, they provide food. So today I'm going to show you my ironwood tree. Um, Ironwoods have been, um, they're one of our native trees, so they have a very bush-like structure to them. Um, this helps them conserve energy. Um, they're highly adapted to our climate. So if you want a low maintenance tree um, that doesn't take a ton of water, uh, this tree is great for you. One thing to consider when uh, selecting this tree is thinking about where you're gonna place it. If you see here, I placed this tree very close to our walkway and that was probably not the best decision because the tree is going to want to continue to grow out and this tree will get to be, you know, 25, 35 feet potentially wide and, and even taller. So these trees can be massive. Um, they are traditionally um, in their native habitats in washes. And so they'll actually, uh, they do like water, especially for establishing, but they are a low water use tree. Um, one really neat thing about our, our ironwood trees is that they do create a biodiversity um, in soil composition and they're, they're um, referred to as a nursery tree because they take care of um, younger plants as they grow. They're notorious for helping nurse saguaros as they get older. So if you have a saguaro that you want to plant right under it, um, the reason being is that when it grows in this bush-like way, it encourages as it drops that um, nitrogen, you know, it's a nitrogen fixer as a bean tree. And then it also, um, ha you know, you have like birds coming in and, and different animals that fertilize um, while they're there and, and leave seeds and things like that. So it just really complements that native um, component. The other thing that you'll notice is that these trees have really small leaves and really pointy thorns and those protect it. Um, from a food perspective, these trees will bloom flowers around June or July and you can harvest the beans after the flowers bloom. And the beans um, can be sprouted. Our indigenous community uh, used to utilize and probably still do um, utilize uh, beans for uh, as a food staple. Um, and they also provide um, an ability to, as they get um, more brown, to create into a flower, similar to Palo Verde pods and ironwood pods. But you can also just leave them for your animals to enjoy as well. So if you have any interest in a low water use food bearing tree, this is a great um, one to, to have. And it'll last 2,500 years. They live a real long time. Mm -hmm. 